goodness sake. Tommy, get up. You'll be late for school. Oh, I'm up, Mum. You're not taking that in the house. Go to show Mum. Bad enough killing it. What you got there, Sid? The one that's been killing the chickens. Well, skin it now, but hurry up. Your breakfast will get cold. I got him, Dad. So you clean that rifle? And I only used one shot. You heard me. <gasps> oh, God. Morning, Sally. Morning, Mrs. O'Brien. Bit nippy this morning. Was the hot water OK? Just fine. Two or three sausages. Oh, look, I'm going to be late. Tea and toast will be fine, thanks. Can't start the day on an empty stomach. Sid, hurry up. Now, you're not going to school like that, I hope. All right, Mum. He got the fox. There's a clean shirt in the ironing basket. Bloody thing got three chicks. I told you before. Well, it did. Sid skinned it to take it to school. Stop teasing, you two. Miss Jones has enough funny smells around that schoolhouse as it is. Derek brought a possum to school for the science table. And cripes was that on the bugle. You could smell it all the way from here to Saturday, eh, miss? It's not the smell, Tommy. The possum was already dead. He didn't shoot it. And he didn't stay up three nights in a row, so he's falling asleep in class. Yeah, well, foxes don't wait till after school, do they? Never mind. Holiday's coming up soon. Bet you'll be glad. Going away, are you? <laughs> Wouldn't have your job for anything. Shoot as well as Sid when Dad lets me use his gun. But I can, Miss. No, you can't. But I can. <laughs> well, I gotcha. You missed. Oh, no, I didn't. dead animal for luck come away from that thing stop dawdling no running until we're past the pub you little cheat i'll belt you Bye, Dad. You just watch it, Richard. That's a good kick. I'm the king of the castle. You're the daddy rascal. One, two, three. Come on, Ed. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Piggy on the railway picking up stones. Along came the train and broke Piggy's bones. Hey, said Piggy. That's not fair. Engine driver, I don't care. I'm oh, the great kid! Straight to him. Derek, it will stunt your growth. Shut up. My dad says so. I'll tell. You're doing all bash you. Freak, Toby. Derek Hutchinson is the same thing every morning, isn't it? 
Does it make you feel good to make little ones cry? Come on. Only two more weeks. And Mum said he couldn't stay up three nights in a row. And Dad said someone had to get that fox. Then Sid stayed up all night. Derek, is there any possible reason why we have to go through this ritual every morning? Possible reason? <laughs> Sid shot the fox. Blam! Blasted his stupid guts all the time. Tommy, for your information and your Sid. For your information, Sid and Tommy. Animals are not put on this earth expressly to be mutilated and spat on by capricious young boys. Well, what's capricious, miss? I know. It's a kind of pizza with black olives and chopped meat. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> Sounds like rats say more Kenny's face. <laughs> Leanne, where's your SRA card? Your SRA card. Tommy O'Brien, go to the back of the class. <laughs> now! Sue, so have you finished the name slips for the science table? Yes, miss. Well, put them on the table then. Sarah, have you and Toby finished colouring your Australia? Can I have the sticky tape, yes, please? be careful with the scissors. Don't keep stabbing Fire. me with this ruler. Miss Jones! What? Where's Mac the Mouse, miss? That's fascinating, Tommy, but we're not having news this morning. No, miss, I'm gonna really see him. It saw him, and will you get back to the corner? Oh, he's out there, miss. I see him creep past the window. Will you all get back to your seats this minute? Miss Jones! There's Pussycat and Mac the Mouse and another animal out there. They're hiding, but I saw them. So did I. I really did. I wasn't fooling. Sue saw them too. Shh. Sit down, all of you. I realise we only have a fortnight to go, but before we all chuck off our shoes and do what we like, we should remember the school inspector is coming next week. And until he leaves, we will continue with our work. Thank you. That's better. Derek, lock the front door, quickly! Lock the door! Toby's out there. He went to the toilet, remember? Children, I want you all to stay where you are. No one is to move. There are guns. And no one must get hurt. Just sit quietly and do as I say. going on a picnic. Are we, miss? I think we are, Toby. Get them into the van. All of them. And be bloody quick about it! Move! Quick, sit down. Shh. Richard, sit in your seat. All right, children. Please listen carefully. We have to go with these men. Don't be afraid. I'm sure they mean no harm. Stand up, go quietly to the porch, and pick up your cases. Now! Oh! 
I'm going to get the first aid kit. Come on! Leave it. If I don't answer it... Just leave it! Come on, get that bloody man! Run! Maybe three phone calls. One, one, one. Hey? Oh, man. One phone call with nine kids. <laughs> they won't stall. The money will come floating from the bloody sky. Shut up! Children, let's have a song. Shut up! Excused, miss. Does anybody else have to go? Will we be stopping soon? Excuse me, I'm speaking to you. The children are uncomfortable. They need to go to the toilet. They probably need a drink and something to eat. I'll wet myself if we don't stop, miss. Don't worry, sir. If you wet yourself, I'm sure Father... Shut up. Teach would be good for a gangbang, eh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I reckon that dark one's up to that. Tommy, before. go! Hide nearby. When we've gone, go for your life. Get to a house, use the telephone, break in if you have to. Go, go! I'll go! No, I'm going! Oh, you always get Who to go! You know, for Christ's sake, Derek. Has everyone finished? Yes! yes. Whose is this? It's all right, Toby, don't worry. Off you go. Tommy's making a run for it. Pass the word not to say anything. Hurry up, Leanne. We're going to have you before this is over. Come on, sweetheart. <laughs>
Piggy on the railway picking up stone. Lunk had a train and broke Piggy's bone. Hey, said Piggy, that's not fair. Who said the engine driver? I don't care. That's Tommy's line. Stop! Stop the man! <coughs> Fuck up! I don't know, Richard. I reckon we're headed about north by north. What? Got no bloody choice, lady. Now move! I think, children, we're going to have an adventure. Can we eat the picnic now, miss? <laughs> Sid and Derek, you two climb down and see what it's like. Doesn't look too bad, miss. I reckon if we just slide down, it will be OK. Derek, for once, just do as you're asked. It's okay, miss. Slides down for a few feet, then level. Come up. on, come on! Right, kindergarten, first and second classes, line up. You've got to let your cases down first, then go after them. Who's game to go first? Oh, me, miss. I'm sure Thank you me, are, miss. Tommy, but let Leanne go first, then you. Go on, give me a hand. Don't! Here you go, darling. Come on. You're gonna love this, sweetheart. Wait, Tommy. Let Narelle go next. Oh, but you said... Don't argue. Just let Narelle go next. Is it very dirty? Oh, for goodness sake, just go. You've just had breakfast. That was you? hours ago. I'll say when it's lunchtime. I'll hold you. Get phone down first. Ready? Come on, Toby. Be a big boy. You come, on, not Of course I will. Ready, steady, go! I 
I can manage, thank you. All right. What are they going to do with us, miss? I expect they'll ask a ransom for us. And then the police will catch them and we'll all be home very soon. Yeah, and the cops will kick their bloody teeth in. They will not. If I had Dad's gun, I'd blow their stupid guts That's in. Enough, Tommy. Miss, what's a ransom? You don't know. Jeez, you're dumb. No, she's not. She's a very brave girl. You're all very brave and I'm proud of you. But let's not fight. I reckon we can climb out of here. You don't think they'll leave it unguarded, do you? Tommy O'Brien, get down from there. Oh, miss. What if you should fall? Get down. Now. Well, I'm not allowed to do anything. Oh, Toby, please be quiet. <coughs> is that all they're going to do, miss? Just ask for ransom? Of course it is. What else could they do? Come on, Toby. We're going to have our lunch now, and you're going to make the sandwiches all soggy. <laughs> Now take out your lunches, but you're to only eat one thing. Oh, miss, I'm starving. Yeah, miss. I could eat ten million sandwiches. I'm sorry to hear that, Leanne. If we get back... When we get back, I'll shout everyone a hamburger at Kulvara. Ripper! I want a double bacon and egg burger. I want a pizza capricious. <laughs> now settle down and remember to eat just one thing. We've got to make our food last. This is like that film about those guys in the lifeboat on TV, miss. They were only allowed one sip of water a day. Now we need a fire, eh, hey, miss? That would be nice, but we don't have any matches. Yeah, too bad nobody here smokes. Maybe we could rub two sticks together. Maybe we could rub Drake's legs together. We want to make fire, not butter. Doesn't matter anyway. There's nothing to burn in here. If it'll make you feel any better, Sue, I forgot my lunch too. Oh, here, miss. Have some of mine. Thank you. Oh, Mum's giving me tomato. There you go. Have one of mine too, Do you miss. like tomato sandwiches, Miss Jones? It'll burn longer that way. Okay, we're going to be all right now because the rock means something. Can anyone guess? It means they've gone away, miss. Good, Norelle. They wouldn't just put the rock there for exercise, would they? Now I want you to arrange your cases and put the food away safely. Then come and sit in a circle. We're going to have a council of war. Come on, quickly. Okay, kids, we must start to use our brains. What is the first thing we should do? Norelle? Well, I'm going to climb up and see if I can shift the boulder. I'll help you, miss. Oh, me too. Thanks, Tommy, but there's only room for three, and I think Derek has more bulk. Now, we don't know how long those men are going to be away, so we'd better get started. Yeah, let's shift that sucker. Yeah, what do they think we are? A bunch of kids. We can't do it. Oh, God. Oh, Miss, I'm thirsty. Will someone give Derek a drink? Anyone else who needs it can have one, too. You can have some of mine. Oh, oh geez, Narelle. This isn't a drink that tastes oily. I've given him my salad dressing, miss. Must have got the wrong bottle here. Yeah. Treat you, Derek. Good one, Norelle. 
You better not try that again, Narelle. Sorry. Does anyone have a small jar or a tin? What for? Will this do? I've got a can. What about string? Does anyone have shoelace? Give me a shoelace. What are you going to do, miss? A lamp. You're going to make a lamp. Like our project in Eskimos, right, miss? Will it work, miss? I don't know. It's certainly worth a try. Derek? Oh, why did it go out? Is it gonna work? I wanna go home. Good, go! Shut up, Toby. We're just telling him to shut up. Hey, the smoke's going out through here. There must be another way out. It's probably just a draft. Let's have a look. No, it's too dangerous. What if someone were to fall? We don't know what's through there. We must stay here. But we can't just sit here. We've got to do something while they're still gone. No, Tommy, I can't risk it. We must think of the littler ones. I thought this was a council of war, miss. <sighs> Who said they had a can? Oh, here, miss. Good. We'll make it into a lamp as I've done with the other one. And when he's finished, Sid and I are going to do a bit of exploring. No, I mean... Beauty, miss. Don't go. I'll go. No, you won't. You went last time. I'll go. Quiet, you two. Well, you're not to worry. Derek and Narelle will be good guards, and Sid and I won't be very far away. Hey, miss. We should take this one. See how it leads down along the damp line? Well, when you get lost in the bush, you always follow a stream downhill. I'm sure it'd be the same underground. That'll just take us deeper. We're on a mountain, though. Maybe you better lead. We can't climb up there. I could. You probably could, but what about me? I could go along and get help. What if you got killed or something? No, I can't allow it, Sid. It's much too high. Maybe there's some better holes further on. Tommy's right. Pardon? Nothing. So, which way now? Huh. 
The water must come out somewhere, mustn't it, miss? Look. That must be daylight. We found it. We're right. You stay here, Sid. I'm going through. But that water'd be freezing. Practice in the shower every morning. shoelaces we got left? Two. How many did we start with? I don't remember. That's it, Miss. What do we do now? I'll have to ask if your shirt I'd use mine, but it's oh, too Oh, no, not my clean one. Mum will freak. Come on. get the lamps going. You're going to need some oil and some more for Sid's shirt. Okay, get your things together. Can you take this? Thanks. I, I don't think it's big enough. Oh, go on, Derek. If I can, you can. I'll, I'll get stuck. I'll push. Uh. Give me your lamp! Circling 
collect all the food and put it into one of the cases. The rest of you take off your clothes and put them into your bags. Try and keep them as dry as possible. I'll take the matches, miss. Mum makes the dry sandwiches this side of the Simpson Desert. Those kidnappers are sure going to get a surprise, eh, hey, miss? I should think they will, Richard. I'll take the little ones first. Over here, Toby. Sit on the ledge and I'll lift you in. Are we going home now, miss? Yes, Toby, that's exactly where we're going. And this is the way. Do you like swimming? It's a bit cold. Don't worry, all right? Here we go. until I tell you to open them. Okay? Very good. Possible. I'll be right back, okay, Toby? Toby? Okay, miss. Good boy. Okay, Toby's through, and he's got a message for you. He says it's easy squeezy. So who's next? Sarah? Stay here and get warm. Tommy and me will bring the others through. Wait, I've got to... You don't got to do nothing. I can do it and you can't. Tommy and me are great swimmers and we're used to the cold. So you just leave it up to us, okay? Take my hand. It's all right, sir.
not going underwater. Can't you swim? I'll help you. Oh, that's better. Oh, look, look at that, that. Miss. Oh, look. Over there. Can we light a fire now, Miss? Yeah, that's a good idea, Miss. Did you keep the matches dry? The matches are okay, but I don't think we should start a fire yet. Oh, oh, it's it's right. right. Those men might still be around. I don't think we should risk it. Now, come on, let's move over there. Oh, we're missing Gilligan's Island. Oh, I've seen this Kojak once where the robbers picked up the ransom money on this really fast motorcycle. My dad's got a motorcycle. He could borrow it to the cop. <laughs> no, idiot, the kidnappers use the motorcycle, not the cops. Yeah, but the cops have got helicopters with infrared and lasers. I bet they're looking for us all over the place, eh, miss? I should say at least ten, not kind of the ones without infrared. But how will they know where to look? We must be miles away from the school. Oh, we could always soak Derek in salad oil and use him for a beacon. No, 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 oh, shut up. up. Let's have something to eat. Are the sandwiches all right? What kind do you want, miss? There's peanut butter and banana, but they're a bit squishy. You kids help yourselves and don't eat too fast. Hey? He said I should climb up and take a look around. Maybe I can see a house or something. Yeah, good idea, but I think I'd better go. Jeez. Sydney. Everyone try and get some rest. Go to sleep if you can. I won't be too long. Sid, you're in charge. TV. Don't you do anything but watch TV? Of course I do. Doesn't sound like it. Everything's like something you've seen. Sarah, you're getting heavy. Oh, how much further, Miss? I don't know. Not far. We'll be having something to eat soon. Oh, I could eat a whole bullock. I could eat the whole world. I could eat the whole bloody universe. <sighs> I wonder what they'll do when they find out we got away. Oh, I hope they go berserk. We beat them, didn't we? Yeah, now they won't get the ransom. They could give us the You rest. said it was only a couple of miles. Well, we'll just have to walk some more until we get there, Derek. I wish my daddy was if here. If we'd stayed oh, in no. the cave, we'd probably be getting something to eat right now. Wind, wind, wind. But Miss said that... I made a mistake, Derek. Teachers can make mistakes too. I'm sorry, but I'm doing my best. Yeah, shut your neck, Derek. I saw a man upon a stair, but when I looked, he wasn't there. He wasn't there. How about a big dinner with baked potatoes? And gravy. I love baked buds. Your mum makes them all crispy and yummy on the outside. My mum does too with roast pumpkin and carrots. Spew, I hate this. You are a bit. <laughs> My favourite dinner is lemon That's chiffon. That's not a proper dinner, stupid. A dinner's the part with the meat and stuff, isn't it? Lemon chiffon is part of the dinner. This money in the real sea. I swear I swear. Hey, we're nearly there. Yeah, little beauty. Ripper. Ripper. Won't be long now. Come on, Toby, it's not long now. Nearly over. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good evening. My name's Sally Jones. I'm the teacher from Sunny Flat. These are the children from my school. Some men tried to kidnap us. And... May I use your phone? Phone? May I use your telephone? Oh! Sorry, dear. No! Oh. 
Something to eat. The children are so hungry and tired. Your dinner's back at the bloody cave. We were bringing it to you before you was pissed off. So now you can bloody well go without. Well, what are you going to do with us now? We're going to have to take the old buggers with us, Jim. I told you no bloody names! Sorry. Well, what are we going to do with them? That dinner you were serving up, dish out four places, Benny. You got anything to drink, Digger? Not much. Just a bit of sherry. Perfect. Get it. Hope she gives us lots of spuds. I don't think the food's for us, Rich. It's okay. There's no windows, and the double doors bolt from the outside. Right. We'll get them all out there into it. Oh, it's cold. Come on. My husband's not well. You mustn't put him out there. Please. Shut up! You mongrel bastard! You run! We could start a fire now, miss. Yes, yes. I seen the Sill Street Blues, and the cops said as long as the bad guys have got their masks on, <laughs> you're all right. Yeah, they could just go away, and we wouldn't even know who they were. I'll let me know, Rel. But that much straw, the flames would reach the roof. I want out! It's all gone wrong! Yeah? Whose idea was it to blast a kid an hour? Light the fire. The whole thing's turned into a bloody nightmare. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're not. They 
gonna kill us, Mace? Kill each other by the sound of it. I see him spread away. Mace, right. do you think they're gonna kill one of us every hour? Like they said? I don't know, Leanne. I don't think they meant to kill the old man. It's made things different. But if they kill us and they won't get their money, will they? <laughs> if we're dead, then... <laughs> Don't cry. Please don't cry. Don't worry. I'm all right now. I'm all right. Looks like two of them have driven away. But I can't see who's left behind. Miss? Yes, Sid? Do you know how to catch a rabbit? No, Sid. Well, it's funny, because you come up at him from the front, head on. You see, rabbits can't look straight ahead. So he come up at him from his blind spot, which is head on. And do you think we could catch a rabbit? Remember, if it's Father Christmas, we don't go through with it. Understand? Sid, do you understand? Now, are we ready? And the story's woven round it. From the tribal children came Every night they met his mothers Croon this lovely lullaby Croon across the moonlight waters To the stars up in the sky You must be cold. Why don't you warm yourself a bit? Come on, children, scrunch over and make some room. All right, children, what should we sing now? Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the child that grows. And eat some jelly between your toes. <laughs> I'm tired, miss. Me too. All right, then. Go over there a little out of the firelight and have a rest. Anyone else? I've got some chocolate biscuits, sir. Would you like one? Is that a real gun, mister? Of course it is, silly. Gosh. Don't you get scared that it might go off? <laughs> Nah, you got to let that up before it shoots. <laughs> I hope you don't let it up. <laughs> Have you ever killed anyone with it? Wow, I've never seen one cut down like that Aye. before. Bet you could rob a bank with that. Ooh, yes. And get lots and lots of money. OK, kids. Are you ready for a lullaby? Yes, yes. Sit up straight, then. <laughs> Will you get back? He's not dead. He's hurt, but if you don't get back, I won't be able to see her badly. You'll be all right, Tom. Don't worry. You'll be okay. <laughs> Sue, get the bag. Tommy? Can you hear me, Tommy? Derek, get to the house. Grab any food you can. 
bandages, antiseptic, quickly. Don't spend longer than two minutes in the house. If you hear the van, grab what you can and run. Norell, help me with Tommy. What about the phone, Sally? They'll have cut it. Don't waste time with that. Sue, Leanne, put out the fire. Going, miss. I don't know. Just keep walking. Come on, kids. You'll keep warm if you move quickly. We should have taken the car. I don't think so. On foot, we're just as good as they are. We can spread out. Look, miss. Oh, we did put out the fire, miss. Doesn't matter, Sue. I thought I saw a man. They've come back. Come on, Toby. Anyone else needs to go to the toilet? Go now. Quickly. Don't you need to go, Toby? Can I sit by you? Of course you can, silly. There's something here in the bushes! Where are you? Sue! Give me a cooey. He'll get her. Stand still, Sue. Probably only a wombat. Where are you, Sue? Sue, where are you? You're okay now. There you go. Come on, Sue, it's all right. Blow your nose, there's a good girl. <laughs> Got a hanky. Who's got a hanky for Sue? Well done. Uh. Tommy? Uh. Oh, thank God. How's he doing? He's not bleeding so much now. Tommy? It hurts, miss. Is it bad? Pretty. I'm going to pick you up now. It'll probably hurt, and I don't want you to be brave. If I hurt you, you yell out and I'll know to be more gentle. All right? Here we go, then. You're OK now. Miss, did we get him? <laughs> Bloody hell. Get him? You're hardly hurt at all compared to Dab, Duck and Pussy. You're doing twice as well as they are. Pass me the gun, Sid. Maybe you better take it. Was it a woman? Don't know. Come on! We should have stayed in the barn, miss. The police would have found us. They would not. We would have been getting shot right now. One every hour, they Shut said. up, Derek. They don't shoot kids, not really. Please don't quarrel, children. I know you're tired, but let's go. Oh, goodness sake, what is it? Miss, I think it's Richard. He's fallen down somewhere and I can't find him. Richard, where are you? Richard! I'm down here, miss. 
I fell down a hole and I hurt my leg. It's all right, Rich. Here, come on, take my hand. Oh, come on. Oh! oh. You probably twisted a little. Can you put your weight down? Yes. Mm -hmm. I found a real bit cave. Oh, Sid, I would have thought you'd have had enough of caves. Here, Toby, put this over there. Look what I got. I love chocolate biscuits. We just grabbed stuff. There wasn't time to look properly. Sid and Derek, I could kiss you both. You didn't happen to bring the kitchen sink, did you? Couldn't, miss. It was all bottled down. How about a can opener? This do? I should think that will more than suffice. Thank you, Sid. Now, what does everyone say to a hot dinner in our new home? You oh, miss, miss. miss. You might need this. Lip. You're a right one, Tony. Why didn't you dodge the bullets? I was too busy. Too busy talking. Hear anything, Derek? What on earth were you doing out here anyway? Standing guard, miss. Wake me at four. I'll take over. too many wrong things already. It was our running that got the old couple killed and Tommy shot and Sarah nearly drowned. Now this time we're going to stay put. I don't know. If we don't put up any resistance, we might be all right. But you heard what they said about you and Narelle. Filthy slime sucking animals! 
You deserve to die! If I was God, I'd kill you! Frightening little kids, threatening girls with... with... Miss, it's not fair. It's not fair. Right. We've got to fight them. We outnumbered them four to one. Beauty, Miss Nan, let them know what it's like to be frightened. Yeah. Who says we're going to get them now? She's real angry. How? I don't know yet. But we're going to do it. I don't suppose you boys have any bright ideas? Ah! be tough and long. We're going to need lots of lovely sharp spears. What for me? To tickle them with. I'm the king of the castle. We'll get the dirty rascals. We'll get the dirty rascals. We'll get the dirty rascals. That's a terrific spear, Derek. Thank you. I think I should do all the spears. Yes, I think you should. Do mine real sharp, Derek. Make mine a beauty! Oh, it might kill him to spear him right in the heart. What do you reckon, Tommy? Nice. The traps are nearly ready, miss. Good. Better be careful out there. Seem that want to be careful. I've got it. And I don't have any, you know, things. Don't worry, I'm sure we can find something. <laughs> Norelle? Have you seen Norelle? She 
she's not here. I can see that. Well, I thought she'd just gone to the toilet. She never came back. How long has she been gone? Mm, quite a while. Sid, did you see Norelle come out a while ago? No. Norelle! Norelle, where are you? Oh, God, no. I can hear you, Narelle. Stay where you are. I'm getting closer. Don't run away. <laughs> I've got you now, Narelle! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Mise. Pushed him onto the stakes. He's a goner, dead as a doornail. Beat him, mate. Man, we killed him. We got him. We got him. Stop it! Stop it! We must be quiet. There's one left. It's Father Christmas. It won't be easy, but we've got to get him. Come on now. Talon, huge with claws like iron, was fastened to the gable. A trophy of the warrior's courage. Is that the end, Sally? If you stop interrupting Tommy O'Brien, you would find that it was not. Hey, that's like us. We've got a trophy too. Shut up, man. I want to hear what happens Be next. quiet. Go on, Sally. The men gathered and marvelled at the great limb. But Wolf had torn it from the monster's shoulder, ripping the sinews. Now it hung in the morning air. For all the men to wonder at. Good afternoon, children. Miss Jones. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon, Mr. Carter. Miss Jones, this is Detective Sergeant Mitchell from Pathology in Melbourne. He has a few questions, if you don't mind. I suppose it's about the kidnapping. Yes, miss. Perhaps there's some place we might go. I think here will do. There's no reason to hide anything from the children. We've found the other body, miss. Oh, really? Well, I suppose his family will be interested, but it's really of no concern to us anymore. Yes, well, there are some anomalies. Indeed? Yes, certain things that don't tie in with your statement. I do wish there was some place we could go. Oh, all right. Narelle, you take over. Now, what can I do for you? Sally, I don't want to stir this up again, but the body has, uh, shall we say, certain injuries on it that don't tie in with your statement. Oh? Miss Jones, are you certain you don't want to add anything now that the body's been found? Perhaps you can be more precise. I'll have to be blunt then, I see. Then be blunt, Detective Sergeant. The body seems to have been mutilated. Unfortunately, because of the state it was... But what I'm trying to say is, uh, although there's no hard and fast evidence, it's been suggested, Miss Jones, that animals alone couldn't have been responsible for some of the injuries. Without hard and fast evidence, as you put it, I can't help you. You move very quietly, Sid. 
I'm sure you're all a great credit to Miss Jones. But our inquiries have These to be... These children have been through rather a lot. They're not quite themselves and should be left alone. Really, they I They need think... rest, not more questions. Sally, to wantonly dismember... Arrest us, then. I haven't come to arrest anyone. Then go away. Yes, I think you're right. We'll let you all get rested then, and... Well, who knows? Maybe we'll be able to tie up the loose ends ourselves. Good. Get it. Now, let me see who's the best. You all are. Everybody has an early mark. <laughs> Off you go, then. Get it like pretty sick. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, they're only kids. <laughs> well, let's go. You'll be leaving school soon, I suppose. Oh, you bet. Sorry. Thank you. 